you're new today we're doing probably my most exciting video of this year it is my makeup tour for 2020 i think i actually skipped 2019 because i was still moving into this area but we are in a brand new setup and i have this entire room dedicated to my obsession with makeup now disclaimer this is not a brag or anything for how large my makeup collection is there's people out there with way larger ones and it's not about that i just have a love of this makeup artistry and I enjoy it a lot so why not have a large collection um, but I do enjoy watching storage videos and stuff like that so how other people store and what they have in their collection so if you do like this as well give it a big thumbs up smash that subscribe button and let's just show you my makeup room figured we just start in this section here all of these drawers are from Ikea they're actually the Alex but the bigger version um, I've just taken the wheels off the second lot and then I've just joined them together so you get like one really tall unit. That way everything sort of fits in there and it's a lot less like storage space. So this top drawer contains like all of my bronzes and blushes. As you can see it's like so much drugstore. I don't really have a lot of high-end products for this drawer. I just think the drugstore does a great job. So this is all blushes on this section. So I have a variety. I have like um, a lot of Makeup Revolution products you'll see and then I've got like BH Cosmetics, I do have Juvia's Place, L'Oreal, this entire strip just here is all Milani because I love their blushes, I think they do like the best blushes. And then moving on to this section is all bronzers. I do have my favourite little bronzing kit, it's the only kit you'll find up here, the rest are below. The bigger guys here simply just don't fit like so that's why they're alone. Uh, all of this is Makeup Revolution, except Essence. And then I've got the Honey Bond Bronzer from Body Shop, BH, Maybelline, um, like Mislin, um, Model Zone, like W7. And then I do have one high end, which is Tarte. It's just the mini. So that is this guy here. Probably my most aesthetically pleasing because everything's set out really nice. The little dividers are just from like eBay and you just slot them together. It doesn't look the best. They're like, they're not the cutest, but they are very functional. To drawer number two, which is my probably favorite drawer because it contains my highlighters ranging from powders to loose and then all these compact powders as well. So these are a mix of high end and drugstore because I love highlighter a lot. So we will talk about this side first. Um, again, the packaging issue, so this is why they're not slotted. I have the Too Faced, uh, the diamond highlight that's gonna have a couple of these Revolution, a big tart. I have a couple of loose ones from like Colourpop as well as Juvia's Place down the front and then some jellies. And then for the compact powders, my favourite go-to is the the Jouer one. I love this. But I do have some Cosmetica. They're the Mecha Maxima. And then some drugstore options. A couple more high-ends like um, Mary Lou, uh, Champagne Pop, MAC, drugstore at the front. And then I think this is mostly drugstore, AOA, dollar one. Model Zone, my favourite essence of all time. I've actually made a ding in this. And then I've got a couple of little guys in the corner here which are from Savvy. And then I have the mini Fenty from this one. I have all my mascaras that I currently own and use regularly. So I've got my eyelash curler. I've got the Great Lash, the L'Oreal, and then the Too Faced Better Than Sex is the waterproof version. My current favourite. A couple of extra things in here. Some priming and setting sprays as well as some tape. This one is my face primers. So I've got a couple different brands, mostly drugstore. They're all drugstore. Um, Revolution, W7, Maybelline, and Astralis. And then over here, at the back, I have some of my craft glittery things. For the front, I have liquid eyeshadows from a different brands, from ColourPop to Stila. I've got Nude by Nature, Astralis. And I have a couple from like eBay because they work really well as well. <laughs> Number four is a good looking sexy drawer. It has all of my foundations and concealers in there. And this is honestly way too much foundation and concealer for one person. It is ridiculous. But I do love foundation a lot. I will say that this section here is just like um, half a divider and I just tape them together. So everything's like slotted so it looks quite nice. And then everything on the side, so the right hand side over here is concealers. And then on this side is products that don't really fit into this section. So I've got the tall, it's just too big, it's too big. Um, the Revolution Hydrate Concealer, I love this. Uh, Too Faced Born This Way, I've got an Essence. My stick foundations ranging from Revolution to Colourpop to Hourglass. And then I use the Anastasia Concealer 
as a primer. Well, I only have drugstore here. At the top, I'm going from NYX to like LA Girl, Colourpop. I have a dubious place. I don't know if you can really count that as drugstore. And then I've got like Revolution, a lot of Maybellines, W7, and then like Flower Beauty and stuff. Or concealers, all of these down the bottom here are from Colourpop. They are starting to separate. Ooh, they're old. And then Revolution at the top. I have some higher end in here. So I've got uh, Tarte, Fenty, Urban Decay. And then I've got Elf, Maybelline, more Maybelline, and the Milani in the corner there. Draw 5 is powders. It's a little empty at the moment because I'm just trying to use up what I have. So ranging from pressed to loose powders. I've got my favourite Astralis guy in here as well as some uh, mineral foundation. Revolution, Maybelline, Juvia's Colourpop, more Mab Revolution, uh, more foundation powders. That sort of range there. And then I've got my Flower Beauty at the back because he's super messy and it's just intolerable to use all the time. And then this little guy in the corner here is my... Uh, brow items. So I've got like a couple of pencils from high end and drugstore and then I go from like my favorite brow shells to some drugstore options for brow textures. So that's that drawer done. This drawer down here contains all of my face palettes. So like I've got the original Becca Cosmetics Jaclyn Hill one. I haven't used this in obviously so long, so long, but I can't get rid of it. I've got Revolution, more Revolution, some Tarte Christmas packaging from years ago, Hourglass highlighting palette, and then some more highlighting palettes from the drugstore. Now this section is the second half of the shelving, so this is uh, drawer set number two. On the first section down here is this guy, so it's all a bit of a mix match everything, it's quite a colourful drawer. I have some baked eyeshadows, some Colourpop gel liners, a whole bunch of Astralis stuff through here, Colourpop, um, more Revolution as well as some Colourpop. This section here is a bit of a mismatch, so I have some lightening and darkening drops as well as liquid highlighters, cream blush, cream eyeshadows, it's a bit odd, lip liners, and then I've got my eyeliners through here and I have quite a variety of brands from like High End, like Too Faced, up to like Essence and like Kat Von D, NYX, so it is quite a mix match drawer that I just kind of like the look of. Uh, my colourful eyeshadows. So I have uh, the James Charles palette from Morphe as well as the Morphe, I think it's the colour B, B colour one? It's a colourful eyeshadow palette. Uh, Jeffree Star palette. I have a couple from BYS, the uh, Festival and the Glitter. NYX, uh, BH Cosmetics, and then I have some extras at the back here that are just more colourful than your neutral lines. This next drawer is pretty much eyeshadows that I didn't really have a place for and I didn't really know what to do. So you've got a mix match from high end to dr um, drugstore. Starting over here I have my Urban Decay Born to Run. I have the Too Faced collections, some Zoeva, the Nikki Too Faced, and then the Pippa palette from <gasps> Blank Canvas. And then I have a couple of Revolution guys and then a W7 cute little palette over here. Be careful of this next drawer, it is full of wigs and everything disastrous. So I have my Pikachu wig, I've got some new red ones, purple, pink, I've got orange, i got a new blonde one, and then some wig caps. So it's very messy, but it's organised mess because I know where everything is. Last drawer really is my extras. It's my props, I guess. I have a witch's hat, some angel's wings, lots of like hats down below and some wig caps in this one so this is mainly my Halloween drawer to be honest. Moving on to this drawer section here again these are from Ikea I will I think they're the Malm or a different version I'll leave it on the screen now but I've got two sets of them just chucked by side to side and I just they're very functional because they're really deep unlike the Alex drawers where they're quite thin so they hold a lot of my uh, more heavy duty makeup. On the top here, I just have some decorative plants. Well, they're real. So on this guy here, I have my Peace Lily. I've got uh, Chinese Evergreen Fiddle Leaf and a couple of um, Impothus down the corner, as well as the Urban Decay little vault collection they released about two years ago. I have only used it once, but I love how it looks, so I will keep that later. And then on this side, I've got some more plants. I've got a Peperomia. Um, and a bird's nest one and then I've got my beauty blenders at the front as well as my prettiest displayed items so I have well not my prettiest but like I do really like them so I have the actual Anastasia box collection and then I've got the Novena, the Carly Bible and the original BH Cosmetics Carly Bible which is like 
holy grail of mine. I've loved it for so many years. So that is my top of it. Going into this section here, the first drawer is my new slash going to use products. So this entire section, these three, four, three here, are all products that uh, I have not used but have bought. So I've got eyeshadow palettes here, lips, brows, and others and then I've got face palette or face products in this so these are products that I have bought in hauls but I have not touched they're not even opened I made 2020 the year that I would buy less makeup simply because I bought this at least six months ago and have not touched them so you don't need more makeup if you're not going to use what you have this section here is dedicated to eye, um, eyelashes. I've got a few different brands from Danny Mansudis to Icom, the Iconic Beauty Cosmetics. I really like that. They're really affordable. But I have new face products. So I've got um, some moisturizers, masks, and I've got like a soul body from Colourpop in there. This section is samples. So every sample that you receive from like I. Like Ikea, um, Sephora and Mecca I just save and eventually I'll use them either in a video or when I take travelling. I have some randoms from hair deodorant to makeup remover and then this guy I just have some spare sponges. Draw number two is my pretty palette. So this is little dividers from Ikea. I just bought them in the kitchen, like the homeware section, and they do a marvellous job at holding my palettes up. So starting from the left-hand side, I have all Juvia's Place. I have quite a few. And then I've got my Tartlet in Bloom palette front there because I didn't have anywhere to put him. And the next two rows are actually from Colourpop. Uh, this is sort of a mirror mix match one. So I have three palettes here from Astralis. I have a Revolution across Kami, um, the original Chloe Morello palette, and then I have another Tarte palette through there. This is my beautiful palette drawer. Now onto the bottom section, it's a bit, whew, it's a bit wild down here. It is my craft slash creative drawer. So I've got some diamantes to watercolors to flowers to ropes to plaster. I've got literally everything you need in here for a fun time. Section number two, the top drawer is probably my favourite drawer because it is my special effects collection. Now I do have quite an array of random products that help with special effects. Starting over here I just have this container full of like poly polymorph plastic, um, some putties, I've got Vaseline, fake blood, uh, liquid latex, spirit glue. At the back here I have two two litres of liquid latex because that's just what you need. And then this middle section here is essentially just face paints. So I bought these little dividers, I think of eBay. They're actually sock dividers, but they hold these like absolutely perfectly. So at the front here, I do have contact lenses from a variety of brands. I have like purple, white, so I've got some fun colors. So the face paints I use are usually water-based, so they're water activated. They're very easy to remove to a point. Um, these are the ones I started off with, which are the Mont Art Body and Face Paints. These are very affordable. I think they're $3.95 a piece. And then I moved up to Tag. I do. There we go. Global Body Art. So there, I do have a lot of Tag body paint. They're about $8.95. They're about double the price. I love the quality of these guys. They work so well. And then on this section, I have more liquid-based face paints from, again, I think these are like Reno, and I have Global in there as well. This section is just everything else so I have some props like a fake heart um, some cream face paints toothbrushes more contact lenses um, of course glue I have a face cask for myself that I did a while ago and then some more fake blood down the back there. another thing that I love doing that I just don't get to do enough is nail art I have no nails on right now but this drawer is my I'm really happy with it I have a huge collection of regular nail polishes, but then these two sections are ranging from like acrylics to dip powder to poly gel. I've got a nail drill, I've got a whole bunch of creative nail art underneath, nails under there. So I love doing my nails. I Onto the last sort of storage collection of my room, it is this sort of tower here. This was from, I think it's Target, that's no longer available, it's really annoying actually, I love this one. So up the top here, I just have this fake floral arrangement to add some colour. And then these are where I store my brushes. So I simply have like brush holders. I just put all my brushes. So the top row has all of my face brushes. And then this section here has all of my eyeshadow brushes and smaller detailing brushes. 
I do also have, of course, the Fenty Stunner Lip Collection here. They're like my favourites and they're super pretty. Love them. Um, so all of my brushes, or my, like 99% of my brushes, are just from eBay. Now you will notice when you do pan back that I have all of these white ones and then I have a little black one here. So I needed one that I could put all of my old and used brushes in, like dirty brushes after I've used them. And it's this guy here, so as soon as I do a makeup look, I put the brushes straight in here, and when this is guy is full, which is usually just after one makeup look, this is just one look right here, I will go wash this, and then that way I always have a good rotation and I'm cleaning my brushes very frequently to reduce bacteria and grossness. So that is that, and I do like this system, and I recommend other people try and implement it. I have this lipstick holder. I'm not a massive wearing outside the house lipstick person, so this is actually amazing I have so many. Um, this divider was just off eBay, I think it was. The top drawer I have like liquid lipsticks, mainly from Colourpop and AOA Studio because they're affordable. These are like, I'm talking Colourpop from like My Little Pony. That's how old it is. This collection came out probably like two or three years ago. So I still hold on to makeup that's really old. More collection, so this is my neutral nudie drawer from a different brand. So it has a bright orange right in the middle. Oh, and glosses. These are regular bullet knit lipsticks in here from and then pretty much every other lip product I own is just chucked in the bottom here.